Hi everyone, I'm your favorite nurse B. Today I want to talk to you all about like what my plans are as far as how I'm going to go from LPN to RN. Um, as you all know, I am an LPN at a long-term care facility. I'm a charge nurse. I've been a nurse for almost three years. It'll be three years, March, 2018. Um, and that's the only job that I've had, it's the only position I've been in. So I have applied to one school. I did the entrance exam and I got into the school, but I had issues with financial aid because I owed the school money, blah, 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 blah. I have a totally different video about that. I'll put it in the description box about like my whole thing. Um, as far as what I plan on doing, the steps by steps, that's why I'm doing this series for you all to give you an idea of like what I plan on doing so that if you are an LPN looking to go on for your RN or if you're an RN looking to go on for your BSN, um, just so you can get an idea of like what I'm doing and maybe it'll be helpful for you or you can let me know what you're doing and it could be helpful for me. So here's the binder. And first off, this is the first thing that I wrote. Well, the last thing that I wrote is I have this little plastic um, sleeve and I believe in writing down what you want to accomplish and then watching it happen for you so this is something I've been working on lately so I just put that I am so glad and blessed that and I have everything that I plan on being able to accomplish over you know the next few years um, but this is what I plan on having accomplished this year 2018 today is January 21st 2018 so I just wrote out everything and I wrote it down in um, past tense because really you all it has already been taken care of so just you have to believe it write it down and watch it happen and then I put it in the front because like I said this is gonna be my huge you know study binder come in here and just get as much information as I can to study for all my entrance exams and all the math and all the dosage calc all that to get in back into nursing school and also I just I want to really really study really hard because I'm going to get a better um I'm gonna get a better understanding of the subjects uh, the second time around so I just I really want to study and like be on top of it you know what I'm saying so this is everything that I will be accomplishing so I put it here and I plan on reading it every time I come into this book and start studying anytime that I feel you know any type of negative energy I'll come back and read this or just positive happy energy I'll come back and read it because like I said I believe that all of this has already been done in my life you know so I have that here first and then I have the last test that I took um, for an entrance exam um, into a school that I did get into but since I had issues with um, financial aid or whatever I wasn't able to actually attend the school but as you can see I got an 81 on the test and if you look at this top part where it says participant that's me and then the average score is like what the average score was for everyone that was taking the test that day so um, you can see like the different categories and then this is my score this is everyone else's average score so really you would want to look at anything like this right here that's not that's something I need to improve on so foundations of nursing and management of care so what I would do is I would go into and I'll put a link in the description box um, I will go to that site and I'll put this in and I will do questions on this particular subject matter and then start to see my scores go up so anything I would say lower than 80 um, I believe the school requires you to get 72 this school so whatever that school requires you to get make sure that you get at least like five points above that anything that's less than that make sure that you test yourself on that well anything that's less than that amount uh, so say it's 72 definitely make sure you test yourself on that but try to aim to get at least like five points above that but as you can see I will be getting over 98 percent on all of my administration um, all of my admission tests for nursing including dosage calc um, so this is the last test that I took. It was a few years ago as you can see. Uh, so what I'll be doing is I'll be going on the site that I have in the description box. I'll be going on that site and I plan on timing myself, taking a test, just an overview test of like I guess maybe, I don't know, 80 questions maybe and uh, just see where I'm at. But it'll break itself down like this the same way. I mean it won't look the same way but it's the same categories. And whatever I get that's less than um, 80, I'm going to aim for 80. Anything less than 80, then I'll definitely test it. But my goal and what I will, will achieve is 98% or better. So that's that. 
and probably what I'll do is once I take that initial test I'll take I'll replace it with this or I'll just add those test results in here and then what I have next is just an empty folder and this is just some basic dosage calc like just things to know to help you like a quick reference for dosage calc and just math in general and nursing so that's that and then this is like a go dosage calc test that I got from the community college that I'm going to take and I'm gonna time myself doing it so you only get 60 minutes so when I do the test I'll give myself 60 minutes but this is a sample test so I don't think it's that big so yeah um and then I got some sheet protectors which I love these as you can see you can get them from Dollar General and then in this top part I have um, these are all like the basic math review tests that I can do um, just questions that I can test myself on with answers so I'll do that this is something that I have to go through um, but basically it's all the requirements for my admission to all the schools that I'm going to which I will show you all more information about that like how I went through looking at everything and uh, finding it online but that's all the requirements and I will be putting these in plastic sleeves as well and then just crossing off what I've already accomplished and I will put it behind this um, orange sheet so but for now I just have it in this little pocket and then I also want to review medication like administration so I just had this from nursing school and it's really good if you're a visual learner um, it has a lot of information you see it has photographs as well as written things and like step-by-step -step, uh, procedures for administrating medication so I think this is really important so I'm gonna go through this and then I had a list of just um, I think it's, it's a lot of different oh gosh you guys I got stains on it so it's just a list of like all the medications that you should know and I had already had this when I was in nursing school and I was putting the page numbers of where it was particularly in my um, what do you call it my drug book so this is some stuff I probably will go over just to refresh a few things if I need to and I probably can find like a more up-to-date one so that's what I have for the medications so that's what I have in this binder for now you all I want to just start um, first thing I'm going to do is start taking I'm going to start with this test and see where I'm at and then focus on that particular area so I'll be doing questions every day and then I'm also going to do the math test the dosage calculation test to see where I'm at as far as dosage calc and then whatever I need to focus on with that I'll do questions um, dosage calc questions and then of course like I said I'll look over medication administration and also just look over a few more meds just to make sure that um, I'm more I'm comfortable with um, with that and I'll organize all of my admission requirements and cross off what I need to cross off and just have an idea of how much everything is going to cost and all that good stuff and look at dates and everything like that so I would I encourage you all to get everything that you have organized and something you know maybe if you're into stationery definitely get something that looks nice looks appealing to you but definitely you know it might seem silly to you to write out something like this but I find it very helpful it's very encouraging just to see everything that I will accomplish that God is gonna um, bring forward in my life and that's already been done in my life he's already promised it so I just put it there and it's a great way to just see you know where you are going to be in life really and it's a great just reminder of all the greatness to come okay um, so that's my advice that's what I have for you all hope you enjoyed the video